Hey all, Moto here, and today I'm reviewing the Power A Nintendo Switch Wired Controller. Power A sent me the Crash Bandicoot controller that they made to celebrate the launch of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. You can catch this for $24.99, and it appears to be a GameStop exclusive. Additionally, they made an entire line of Nintendo Switch controllers that are themed off of different Nintendo characters, and the artwork on those, it's just amazing. For me, when I got my Switch, I was looking for something that was comfortable, easy to use, and something that, after hours of gameplay, my hands wouldn't hurt. Um, I do play PlayStation 4, obviously Switch, but most of my time I spend on Xbox, and so I want something I'm used to using. And I'm looking at this controller, it's screaming to me like, this is for you. It feels familiar, it feels good. Uh, there are no rumble packs in here, there's no motion control sensors, and there is not one of those NFC chips to read Amiibos. I can live without those things because the controller, which I will talk about in a moment, it's very comfortable to use. Now, don't let looks deceive you. This is actually a wired controller. It comes with a 10 foot cable, a little tie, so that after playing, hopefully you pick up your mess and, and keep the cables nice and tidy. All right, so one of the cool things that I like about this controller are the triggers. So you'll see these triggers don't have, you know, a long travel distance. So that's really nice. The bumpers feel really good. You know, the hand placement of where all the buttons and everything is very familiar, especially if you're used to using Xbox controllers. The, the buttons, they actually have like a lot. I, you know, I was sitting there tapping my Xbox controller in this. And they do seem like they have a little bit of a longer travel, but they have a good feel to them. You can hear the little the clicking. Did I just send like a Morse code? I don't even know. The D-pad is definitely something that will feel familiar to you. Um, it has a good feel to it. Honestly, I was not expecting a lot on the D-pad. Um, it actually feels solid. Um, you know, it's nothing amazing, but it feels has a good feel to it. Uh, it snaps back quick and it's easy to select what you want to select. Now the back of the controller, it's a, a super slick material. I don't know. It just feels slick. It's not the end of the world. The controller's $24.99. I can't ask for everything. Or can I? But speaking of wanting everything, how cool would it be if they made a version of this controller that also had the programmable advanced gaming buttons that you can find on the Power A enhanced Xbox controller, which I will be talking about in my next video. One way this controller does differ from like a traditional Xbox-ish controller are the thumbsticks. You can see here the top it's it's a it's a larger circumference area and at first it felt really weird to me i was you know like this is weird you know and quickly i totally forgot about it so i think it works okay the thumbsticks themselves the movements it feels it feels really good but uh if i were gonna play first person shooters i would i would have a tr i would have more troubles adapting to that but for what i'm playing on my nintendo switch totally works i totally forget about it all right so the bummer is because it is a wired controller you cannot use it when your switch is not docked so it has to be docked to use it um i thought this over because i was like man i want to use it all the time right but are you really going to want to be like out and about and doing things and having to deal with wires probably not all right, so the big question, do I recommend the Power A Nintendo Switch wired controller? It's $24.99. I love the layout. I love the feel of the buttons. I love the thumbstick feel, the D-pad. I mean, the only thing I wish is that it had some rumbles, but it's not the end of the world. And in the past, I have only used wireless controllers. 
And in this case, I think it's because you can easily detach it. I didn't even mention earlier, but you can see they made a little indentation there. There you go. And so it's really easy to plug in so that there's only one way. There's a little notch. I really like this controller. I think especially if you're an e primar primarily Xbox gamer, I think this will speak to you. In the price point of $24.99, I don't think you can go wrong. I really am happy with this. And this will definitely be my primary way to play my Nintendo Switch when it's docked. If you like this review, I urge you to smash that like button and give me a sub here on YouTube. And you can catch me live streaming most days over on Mixer. So mixer.com slash moto, that's M-O-T-O. -O. I would love you guys to stop by and say hi. And um, getting to know you all is the best part. Thanks so much and see you next time. Flip, flip.